An AEW Revolution match has been cancelled. Plus, up to 20 wrestlers may be pulled from future AEW plans. And we remember Mike Virgil Jones, who has passed away. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. AEW ever so slightly on fire this Thursday morning. We'll start with Revolution, where we are are having to put the meat back in the freezer, Andrew Hodkinson. Oh, we certainly are. And I think this was a match that quite a few of us, especially on the pitches video yesterday, I think we were quite excited to see what this could have been. Buzzing, buzzing. However, just hours before Dynamite, Tony Khan tweeted some bad news for meat fans. And he said, with multiple wrestlers slated for Revolution's Meat Madness match out injured, plus shelled by AEW doctors, I'm temporarily freezing the bout until they're clear. Meat Madness is on ice. Instead, Sunday's pay-per-view will feature for an all-star scramble match. So, no meat, but scrambled eggs. Fine, that'll do. So, they announced last night some of the participants for that match. We're going to see Wardlow, Hook, Brian Cage, Lance Archer, Powerhouse Hobbs, Chris Jericho, and two more entrants, TBA. The final two will be decided in qualifying matches between Matt Seidel and CMLL's Magnus on Rampage, and a three-way between Penta, Brian Keith, and Dante Martin on Collision. Collision. I mean, I'm up for a scramble. Yeah. Sad about the meat. Exactly. No, that's it. Uh, the thing that worried me the most to begin with was sort of seeing when uh, when Tony Khan was like, it's on ice for now. And I was like, ooh, but that felt like the perfect moment for Wardlow to continue his momentum. And as long as, I mean, he's still in this match, which is good in this scramble match. So as long as that still does what I feel like it's there to do mm. in terms of push Wardlow's momentum a little bit further, then I'm fine with that for now. Uh, Mike, confusion is like um, unless i've unless i've missed something here and sometimes i do wardlow archer and hobbs were all announced for the meat madness match yes they were yeah but yet then they're not doing that and they're doing this is well i assume they, there was more people to be added to they the were meat madness. Add more yes. meat yes 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 more much more meat. meat so not enough meat to go around we're getting scrambled instead uh, not the end of aew's issues um we know that a a interpromotional rivalry is burgeoning between aew and cmll uh, that may have been dealt a bit of a blow uh, which could change future plans pw insider saying that the united states work visas for almost 20 20 CMLL stars in Mexico uh, are in the process of being cancelled by the United States government. Once that happens, it could take months for new visas to go through the approval process and and get issued once more. And this affects uh, stars such as Volador Jr., Hechicero, Mascara Dorada, who've been on AEW Mm -hmm. recently and others who would be potentially featuring in this CMLL rivalry in days to come. Blue Panther, El Sagrada, uh, Electrico, uh, uh, Diablo 1 and 2, uh, to name but a few, Templario, uh, and and not only in AEW, but also uh, with other shows they had bookings as well. And Mm. there's a lot of holes suddenly being filled in the weeks to come for shows around the country. Um, How has this happened, Andrew? Well, PW Insider reveals that this was caused by issues uh, between CMML and Texas-based full-blown pro wrestling who worked together to sort visas for CMLL talent. Now, CMLL head Salvador uh, Luteroth had placed other employees in charge of the visa process on CMML, uh, CMLL's end. Homeland Security then contacted full-blown promoter Jerry C- uh, Cadena and informed him that he could be accused of fraud in the event the visas got flagged. Now, when Jerry tried to speak to uh, Luteroth, to resolve the situation, they said they'd speak to the embassy instead and not go through full-blown any further. Now, concerned that his name was connected to these visas, but CMLL wouldn't resolve the issue, Jerry told Homeland Security he had no intentions on working with CMLL any further, and consequently, those working visas were terminated. Now, from here, CMLL stars will have to sign new visas, a process that could take months. And this is a a storyline that is getting underway on AEW as we speak. We had Atlantis Jr. versus Lionheart Chris Mm -hmm. Jericho last night. uh, There's a few other matches, I believe, in the can or on the plans as well. Uh, But it looks like we may have to put a pin in that for now until this gets resolved. Yeah, and I mean, I guess sort of relating back to the first story as well with the Meat Madness stuff and Tony Khan saying a lot of people have been shelved or haven't been cleared uh, with doctors and everything yet. 
uh, it's not the best time for them, is it, for this to happen too? And the stuff with the CMML uh, stars as well was really getting going and something that was really exciting to watch on TV. I think mm. AEW are absolutely brilliant at bringing in um, luchadors that maybe a lot of us aren't really familiar with and seeing what they can do and really giving them a place to shine. Uh, um, within at least the mainstream of like WWE, AEW sort of uh, promotions. But like it was, it it's such a shame that this may have to be put on hold because it's been really, really good so far and it feels like things are ramping up again for AEW. We'll keep tabs on that one. Uh, all eyes on Revolution on Sunday night. Uh, pre nine pitches currently waiting for you on the YouTube channel. What could have been with the Meat Madness match? What could have been? Could have been. I know there's so many things on there that could have been. I think Fraser's was uh, <laughs> Fraser's was particularly good, as you can see uh, from the thumbnail itself as well. All so. the meat suggestions were magnificent. Mm. I don't want to spoil them for you. Uh, YouTube.com slash Cultaholic, where you're looking now, basically. <laughs> uh, predictions on the channel later today, myself and Fraser Porter. Uh, we will also be live reacting on Sunday, and you'll have what? happen at Revolution as well. Uh, the wrestling world paid tribute to a legend yesterday. A news broke that Michael Jones, best known for his time in the WWF as Virgil, uh, has passed away at the age of 61. It was announced on Facebook uh, that he died peacefully in hospital. Uh, he had numerous health issues over uh, the last few years. Uh, there were talk of dementia and several strokes had been suffered as well. He'd been through it. Um, now, Andrew, you are a, a slightly younger man than I. Yep. Uh, but even you surely know the, the legacy that Mike Jones leaves behind. Oh, absolutely. So, obviously, Mike Jones began his career as Soul Man Jones. Soul Man Jones. Uh, but became famous in WWE as Ted DiBiase's bodyguard, Virgil, which was obviously, you know, a rub on a rib, sorry, on Dusty Rhodes. Uh, he would later turn on DiBiase, and my goodness, the pop when that happened was tremendous. And he had a singles career in WWE before making his way to WCW to rejoin DiBiase in the NWO. Uh, now under the name, of course, Vincent, which was a rib on Vince McMahon and then he was also <laughs> briefly known as Shane too which was also a rib on Shane McMahon I want to touch on that because I think of all the moments that, that Mike Jones had in his career that one that you said there oh. is the most iconic SummerSlam 1991 <sighs> my goodness gracious me him beating Ted DiBiase and the pop was insane I feel I think it was uh Hurricane Helms on Twitter was talking about, uh, he once did a show, like a look out into the crowd and someone said, oh, you're channeling The Rock and Hulk Hogan. And he's like, no, Ted DiBiase and Virgil. Like, have you Virgil. seen that? It's insane. Uh, I'm old enough to have been there first time round and I remember just absolutely willing on Virgil yeah. against Ted DiBiase. And when he cracks his head into the turnbuckle and he takes a million years to cover. <laughs> and it's it was so good. Just, oh, and the, 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 the reaction. Yes. As we would have said back in the day, Road Warrior-esque. Mm. Um, he left WCW in 2000, uh, made several appearances uh, on the indie scene after he retired. He popped up in AEW in 2019 and early yeah. 2020, but he popped up in WWE about 10 years before that, briefly in the storyline involving Ted DiBiase Jr. And and from there, from there, from the last few years, very much established himself as a as, as a, <clears throat> a a wonderfully beloved wrestling curiosity in the sense that any interview that he conducted, including with us here at Cultaholic, uh, he spent most of the time talking about his love of Olive Garden and meat sauce. There is even, should you decide to look today, a Soul Man Jones app for your phone. It is a game in which you control Mike Jones, Soul Man Jones, as he collects uh, various Italian food products. Uh, it is a game that uh, last time I checked existed, I haven't played it yet. Uh, and I'm a meat, meat. I think it's called Meat Madness. Which, <laughs> if, How good would have that been? Oh my goodness. If it him. is called Meat Madness, then I think that's perfect. Don't yes. quote me on that. Tribute to Paul from around the wrestling world. Hacks or Jim Duggan describing Jones as a good man and a good performer who really left his mark on wrestling. Brutus Beefcake sharing a photo of them together, tweeting, may God bless you and forever keep you forever. 
Yes, and Joey Janela shared his favorite memories of Jones, describing him as one of the funniest characters I've ever met in the wrestling business and always meant well. If you check out Joey Janela's Twitter, he shared a bunch of stories. There's a few occasions where he would just bring Mike Jones to an event just, just for a laugh and just obviously pay the guy for working it. He was he was at Joey Janela's spring break and mm -hmm. I think he was planning to maybe get him involved with the new with the latest spring break for, for this year, but sadly that that isn't to be. Uh, the wrestling world and also Colt holic pay tribute and send our condolences to the family of the late great mike jones aka virgil there will never be a one quite like you sir for the latest wrestling news throughout the day you can check out cultaholic.com kiss kiss love you bye